Uh, well, the first story, I think, a uh, big story today, we've got the Prime Minister announcing that he is going to go forward with Rwanda and uh, sending asylum seekers out there. And I actually think it's an excellent policy. Uh, I was in Rwanda in March. It's a very smart African country. Uh, I don't think there's a problem with sending people there. I think it will really help reduce uh, asylum seekers coming into the UK. And bearing in mind, you mentioned that I used to be the MP for Rochdale. A good proportion of asylum seekers that actually end up in Rochdale because housing is low there in the north of England. Uh, they don't end up in Islington or other uh, places like that. They end up in places like Rochdale and they've really changed the nature of the town. And so a policy like this I think should be celebrated and I'm, I'm pleased to see the Prime Minister in this interview in the Daily Mail saying he's going to push that through. So I, I welcome that. Well, you, obviously your former colleagues on the Labour benches in Parliament are absolutely fully opposed to this. So do you not have any sympathy for, for their opposition to this Well, I, th I think they're making a big mistake. I really do. I think they're on the back foot in terms of this policy because they have no alternative, do they? What, what is the solution to this? With far too many asylum seekers uh, coming over into the UK, uh, being trafficked, so there are people making money out of this, uh, and the government's come up with a solution and they're determined to make it work. I think Labour have got a real problem in terms of how they're going to tackle this. Uh, and the left-wing lawyers that make an absolute fortune out of I was of just about to mention them, yeah, yeah. Uh, and as I would know from my casework in dealing with asylum seekers, etc., I mean, lawyers, and if you take the Rochdale grooming scandal, the lawyers involved in protecting the perpetrators of that, uh, those crimes, uh, have made an abs absolute fortune in keeping those perpetrators in the United Kingdom when they should have been sent back to Pakistan. And this is where people say sort of human rights can be turned on its head when you're looking and giving more support to the perpetrators than you are to the victims. And Absolutely. this is something that's got to be dealt with as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting to hear your comments.